Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eddie from Average Joe Drinks. And I'm Vince, and we're here to make drinks suitable for the average Joe. Today we're at the Bold Roost mm -hmm. in Gilbert, Arizona with Brandon, who came in on his day off. Oh, nice and guy. he's going <laughs> to nice tell guy. us a little bit about who he is, where we are. We are um, located Higley and Ray. We've been here for about five years now. Um, got a wide variety of things, and liquor is just something that we've recently got into. The best part about um, making cocktails is the creativity behind it. There's no real rules, as you guys know. I mean, there are certain guidelines. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's kind of free reign. So that's, uh, that's what I enjoy, you know, is the creativity behind it all. Awesome. So this, so. So this is a coffee shop, but Correct. you guys have a liquor license. You Absolutely. can buy cocktails here. Right? Yep, that is right. That's right. Full liquor license. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yes, sir. So we, thank you so much for letting us come. Oh, I mean, of course. Of course. Happy to have you guys. Such an exciting thing. And for me, I've been coming here for almost five yeah, yep. Very so true. I, I, I love this place. The people are great. Um, cocktails are great. Now yeah, you're here. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> and love the coffee. Just ask Vince. What, what the what was the one you got, Vince? The red eye, which red I eye. guess is your strongest coffee with yes. a shot of espresso yep, in it. Yep, correct. That's right. That's right. We just recently peeled him off the ceiling. So. Yeah, yeah. Believe it or not, it's fine. <laughs> we're all fine. So we're gonna make two cocktails. We're gonna do it a little differently. Vince is just gonna look pretty, which he does a great job of, Absolutely. obviously. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. You notice we got some shirts, right? I'm with Brandon. Well, he is Brandon. I am Brandon. That's so me. So we don't have to worry about having him a shirt and say I'm with Brandon. But the point is, Vince and I were here. We were checking out the place, kind of seeing what we're going to do here. I think everybody here is named Brandon. And Brandon, the owner. Brandon and yep. my other brother, Daryl. No, is it and, and other Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> so we started making jokes about what kind of shirts would be funny. And um, executive producer Kim, I love you. <laughs> yeah, she made the these best. shirts in like 20 minutes or whatever, well, maybe a little longer, but she came back home from a scrapbooking retreat and made these up nicely and we actually brought a couple for you, we'll, we'll give those to you later. That's so. awesome, looking forward to it, yes. I love the shirts. It's yeah. <laughs> a good name. Well put together. <laughs> so I'm going to make uh, Average Joe Drinks original, I made this on an episode previous, oh, remember cool. with the Irish coffee? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> he remembers. Yes, I remember. <laughs> we'll look at the film later. <laughs> But we're, we're kind of modifying a little bit because some of the ingredients that I use don't readily have on stock here. And, and part of what we wanted to do here is we wanted to make sure that you could come here and you could purchase this cocktail from these awesome people here. Correct. So <laughs> we made a little modification and then you're going to make one of your cocktails. Can yep, you describe absolutely. what that's going to be? Uh, yes. Yeah, so it's using things we have on hand. Uh, of course, we want to keep it um, in the coffee realm just because, of course, we are part coffee, part Coffee's liquor. Um, I love both so, of those Oh, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and, um, you know, I've kind of come up with something um, with a little bit of fireball in there, um, some rum chata to kind of cream it up a little bit, and then, of course, just a cold brew um, coffee. Fantastic. So, Well, you're a guest on our show, but I'm a guest here, so if yeah. you don't mind, I'm going to go first? Absolutely, of course. I'd love okay. that. So, again, the last time we used um, creme de menthe, creme de cacao. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we don't have that here. But we do have some great chocolate, so we're going to use that. And then we're going to use some peppermint schnapps. So our recipe here is going to be three ounces of iced toddy. This is the drink that I get pretty much every time I come here. Yeah. It's very good. It's cold brew coffee. So we're going to use three ounces per drink. Because you always make two. Right. And why is that? Well, you want to make sure you make a friend. Exactly. And, and Vince and I will share. Of course. You can have the other one. All right, I appreciate it. Because well, we're going we're gonna <laughs> to taste it out there, though, right? That's yeah, exactly yeah. right. This is a place of business. We're going to abide by the law as Correct. much as we do. Yeah, that, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a great point. We are going to taste this after. We're not going to normally do our cheers. and We'll taste it once we're not behind the counter. And as we stated, Brandon did come here on his day off. He is not on shift. Correct. So, <laughs> thank you, guys. No laws were harmed in the filming of this episode. That's right. No laws were harmed. I love that. I love that. So I'm going to put a little ice in here, I have a little, a little too much here, we're going to pull the glasses off. See, you know, you just got to improvise every once in a while. There you go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> put my three ounces per drink of ice toddy. We have one ounce per drink of cream. Is this cream or half and half? Uh, it's half and half. Half and half, which yep. is what I used the original recipe I like. So we're going to pour that in here. Perfect. We're going to put approximately that much chocolate. That's that about a quarter. About ounce. a two second yeah, count. Yeah, it's a two second count. You know. <laughs> two ounces of vodka. We get to use speed pours. There you speed go. pours. Those oh, man. Got a whole thing coming up on speed <laughs> pours. We've been promising that for months. Have you? So, two ounces of vodka. 
Yeah. Per, per drink? No, one per drink. One per drink. We don't oh. want to get crazy here. Yeah, but we'll, that hold was, on. Those are, that was some pretty big ounces. <laughs> I have my little cup here. So. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been a little heavy, but that's okay. Then we're going to do an ounce per drink of peppermint schnapps. Ounces are all right there, so we're good. Oh, okay. We're good, we're good. We're good. Doing great. And now, we're going to mix. This is, I always say don't talk while you're mixing. This is something that you really want to make sure that you get a lot of, you want to shake it a lot because you want to get that froth built up. So about 38 shakes. Nice. Should be good. Have you tried that? 39? 30? 39 is too much. Oh, you don't no, want to do that. 40, don't even think about 40. 40 is going to be bad. Don't even think about it. <laughs> 2, 3, 27, <laughs> yes. 4. You have a nice chill right there. That's what you want. So this is a little bit of a pain. <laughs> that was pretty good. It came up I way too easy. Great. So I did froth that up a little bit. As you can tell, perfectly frothed. <laughs> that's good though. Not too right? much, not yeah. too little. And that's what you want. So we're going to take this and we're going to pour. I'm going to leave a little room for the whipped cream. Beautiful. Nice froth there. And we're going to take whipped cream, which, no, you can't do that here. <laughs> yeah. It's a business. Beautiful. You've done this before. It's not my first rodeo, you know? <laughs> and if you could get the chocolate that I forgot. Absolutely. <laughs> so what I've done is I've taken some peppermint bark with a little bit of chocolate chips, and I've used a mortar and pestle, and I just kind of grind that up nicely. And so, yeah, we're going to just dump that on there. You made your cream collapse. I did. That's, what I, was, that's what I was trying to do because it was too high. It's for the effect. So there you go. <laughs> this is an average Joe drink special. This is a cup and mocha. All right. So I made my drink. And now I'm looking at these ingredients here. And this looks a little bit similar to the rum ball. The rum ball that we made. Yeah, we made on yeah. one of our episodes. But obviously it's your spin on. So yeah. what, do you, what do you got, Brandon? Got a little spin on it. Um, let's see. So of course I'm going to be using a little fireball and some rum chata. About an ounce of each per drink. Um, so I will go ahead and start pouring some in. Um, so you're making two drinks also? Correct. Hey, yep. Thank you. I appreciate oh, that. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> you guys have taught me well. <laughs> you heard that here. Yeah, that's right. It's on that's camera right. now, like forever on the internet. Forever. <laughs> so are these your own recipes or is this? Um, this is kind of something that I've looked at our selection um, and kind of just came up with something um, that I thought would taste, you know, um, pretty good as a combination. So it's kind of something that um, you know I just thought of off the top of my head. I know they do have drinks very similar to this, but with the iced coffee in there, it really, uh, really brightens the flavor and gives it a great uh, midday drink, if you will. Day drinking, yes. Day drinking. It's always a coffee. Good thing. So if somebody <laughs> comes into the Bold Roost, though, they can they can order pretty much any cocktail? Are they all coffee based? Um, anything really. We do have a wide variety of things so it kind of depends on just what you're looking for. So tequilas and vodkas. Tequilas, and all that, vodkas, right. rums, all that good stuff. You said 38? 38, that's how much. I just want to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I did add three. Right. So I did add uh, three ounces of iced coffee um, per, per drink so of course that would be six total then. Got some good froth on there. And thank you, thank you. I'll go ahead and pour these in best I can. Oh, we've done that, right? Yep. Was it Alexander cocktail? Let's, let's, let's even have it. Oh, there. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to get the big one, and Vince is going to get mad, and it's going to cause a fight, and we just don't want to have it. <laughs> Guys, not with Brandon. Okay? Right, I know. Not right. with Brandon. I'm with, a little I'm whipped with Brandon. Cream. So, you know. That's true. <laughs> Add a little whipped cream just to top it off. Nice. Mostly for visual, but of course, you know, it adds a little flavor to it as well. I like at the end of the drink when the whipped cream's still there and you get to eat your dessert. Of course, that's the best drinks part. Drinks you can eat. Drinks you can eat. <laughs> Not chew, eat. There's a difference. <laughs> a little cinnamon powder on top of that whip, and you've got yourself a nice chilled drink. Perfect. <laughs> Rum chata, fireball iced coffee. Love it. <laughs> okay, so we've come out from behind the restricted area. So we got... This is Eddie's. This is, yeah, this is the AJD Pepper Mocha. Yep. And here's the... The uh, Rum Chata Fireball Coffee. Beautiful. So, so we're gonna taste these. Yep. Let's taste yours first. Alrighty, you sure? Yeah. Alrighty. I'm oh, in. Well. Oh, do you wanna taste some too? No, that's right, you can pour it. <laughs> oh no, you guys are definitely yeah. doing this. <laughs> 
That's perfect. Okay, that's... Oh, that's your try now. Wow. Yeah, you get the nice cinnamon. So you get the cinnamon. Yeah. Definitely. Do. Yeah, you get the, a little bit of the rum chata, but you, the cinnamon comes through. Cinnamon definitely takes over. Oh, yeah. But that's good, though. <clears throat> definitely good. Looking for a spice drink? So that's the one. Yeah, that's exactly right. And if you like Fireball, I mean, it's just a hint. It's it's there, though. It's not super strong, which I like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the, uh, the rum chata really adds is the uh, cream and sugar to it. It replaces um, any sort of sugar alternative or cream to it. Right. And just add a little rum chata instead. That's a yep. good drink. Yeah, and that's yep. really smooth too. You wouldn't really know you're drinking a coffee. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, very true. Which very can true. be scary. Pretty subtle. It's a good first date drink. <laughs> Is there a you want another one? <laughs> <laughs> he said that. Not me. Yeah. Same. <laughs> yep. yep. Okay. So let's try this. Now this yeah, is the uh, these are the prettier glasses, but I I got the ugly duck. But the same. A couple average Joe's here. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Cheers, you guys. So you got your peppermint bark. Wow. Cheers. You got your chocolate on top. Yeah, oh, that yeah. comes out right away. The peppermint bark. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like that. Wow. So the mint really gets you, which is interesting because you didn't put that much in it. Very good. Yeah, I like that one. I like we, we need to do like 30 seconds on, on garnishes and why they're important. Because if you take a sniff and yep. then you taste it, that, that yeah, first that's the full effect, make a, right? Yeah, it really brings up the whole cocktail. So yeah, that's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, it's the difference between a functional and a visual garnish. And this is functional. Yep. So. Yep. Well, this way blind perfect. people can enjoy it too. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and deaf. And people that can hear. Yes. All types of people. We'll give alcohol to anybody. We don't, we don't, we don't care who it is. 21 and up. 20. See, that's why you brought them along. 21 and up. So that's pretty much it for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please support us. Yes. We are on YouTube. Facebook Average Joe Drinks. Well. Uh, Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> Average Joe Drinks. We have a blog. Average Joe Drinks. Dot com. You see the theme? <laughs> no, no theme. <laughs> and of yeah. course, boldroof.com. Of course. Come yep. see these guys. Yep. They're all named Brandon. <laughs> yeah, if you yell Brandon, you're going to get somebody. So yeah, you'll get service right Do you right see right a male away. in here? Are any of the females named Brandon? I don't think so. Uh, no, no They're females Brandy. named Brandon. No, 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 no Brandy's either. No. <laughs> yeah, but, but seriously, this is a great place. It's a great atmosphere. Love the food, um, love the drinks, and love the people. So come out and support them. And thanks for watching. Thanks Appreciate watching. you guys. <laughs>